Recently, we did our review on that lower end Q60T QLED TV, which wasn't too bad for a 60Hz panel, however it did have its issues. Ok, it was certainly impressive when it came to that PS5 gameplay, but today we are back with this larger, higher end Samsung Q80T QLED TV, which we are very eager to test out with the PS5 console to see what the gameplay is like, as it does indeed have that 120Hz panel and that's all important HDMI 2.1 connection. But first, before we get into the full review of this TV, let's take a look at what we should expect within the box. Inside the box, we have one part of that central TV stand. We are supplied with 8 screws for that stand, and a quick setup guide. We do have a pack of accessories too, including a shotgun power cord, which I'm really glad to see that there is no heavy power brick that is attached to that cable. But again, that cable is a bit short for my liking, and you've got to keep this in mind, especially if you want to mount this up on the wall. So just keep in mind where your plug sockets are. You do get the usual Samsung Smart Remote, which does indeed come with most voice controlled Samsung TVs. Up on that remote we've got dedicated Netflix, Amazon Prime and Rakuten TV app buttons, as well as the volume up, down and channel selections. With a simple press and slide of that compartment to the rear, it's very easily accessible to insert the batteries that are included. We do also get two AAA batteries that are included for that second remote control, which again has those dedicated media app buttons. But I'm afraid this particular remote control doesn't actually come with a microphone included. So it is inevitable that you will indeed need to switch between remote controls if you indeed want to use any of the free provided voice assistants. Lastly, we've got the common interface, which we will fit on the TV in a moment. But yes, we've got the TV remote control user manuals and the second part of that central TV stand. That's what you basically get within the box. And after spending 5 to 10 minutes fitting that central stand, well, to the rear, I'm pleased to say that you've got two USB ports. We've got a digital optical audio out port. Again, that's all important HDMI 2.1 port for gaming. Three basic 2.0 HDMI ports. A LAN port. We've got the usual satellite sockets. And a terrestrial TV aerial socket. As you can see, we've already gone ahead and fitted that common interface, and instead of cable clips, well, you can discreetly tuck away that power cable along with the grooves in the back of the TV and through the rear of that central TV stand, hiding it away with this handy little clip-on panel. Mm, nice and concealed. And what I really love is not only how thin the bezel is on this TV, but I actually really like that vinyl molded plastic look to the rear too. Now with all the relevant protective tape, took off that very lovely looking bezel, I will note that when taking off the left and right security panels, well it shouldn't be ripped right off the TV screen. Even though, yes this Q80T does feel more solid than the Q60T, please be aware that you may damage the screen if you simply don't have patience and loosen both security panels very gently, very slowly, in the end peeling them off with ease. But that's it, all that's left to do right now is take off that screen protector sheet off that anti-glare screen. Now while I'm doing this I must say that this TV actually comes in 49, 55, 65, 75 and 85 inch versions. Let's go ahead, plug it in, turn it on and after a short initial setup we are greeted by that Tizen operating system. Which, like the Q60T, it is pleasing that we do have that home menu that doesn't block any live TV streaming images. We do indeed get Samsung TV+, Plus, catch up and free sat TV. So yes, we don't have to depend on that terrestrial TV signal, especially if you're in a bad signal area, as I am right now. So yes, nice internet streaming channels. Again, using that remote control, I've got to say it is very swift at times. But you do however get minor pauses and a bit of a delay when using that smart remote. The basic remote control on the other hand is perfectly fine. That does obviously have thicker, clunkier buttons. The voice activation functions are not too bad after being fully set up. What's the weather in Manchester? Right now in Manchester, England. It's 7 degrees Celsius with mostly cloudy skies. So yes, we do have usual TV guides and movie apps like Netflix, Amazon Prime, and I'm pleased to say, unlike Sony TVs, well, this Samsung TV does come with the Now TV app. Which, uh, well, we did have to select a couple of times just to get it running. Which, to be honest, isn't a problem of the TV. As I have in the past experienced problems with the Now TV app on the PS4 consoles. Nevertheless, streaming movies is very smooth, with 
wonderful 4K content from Amazon and bright and beautiful 4K footage from YouTube. I must say, looking marvellous on this TV. Wow! Very colourful, vibrant, with hardly, if any, light leakage at all. And what's great is the reflections are minimised with that anti-reflective coating. You don't lose much of the colour, especially with this TV having wide viewing angles. With amazing deep black colour tones, vibrant reds and overall fantastic contrast ratios. Thanks to that quantum dot technology. So now we have no screen washouts while looking at this Q80 panel head on with very impressive viewing angles too. With 4K AI upscaling included. Providing upscaled videos, which alright won't be upscaled to native 4K, but a certainly much improved picture overall. Now with 4K footage it's absolutely fantastic, you do get native 4K when using native 4K footage. And while this TV is actually on the TV stand today, I do feel that it would look great even on a flat wall. Again, keeping in mind though that you do actually get a very short power cable. Now my personally preferred picture mode is actually dynamic mode. You do have standard mode, natural, movie and filmmaker modes. You do have many variant adjustments that you can make and a vast amount of settings to be had with the sound too. Now with this TV you do get basic games that you can download but unfortunately you don't get games like Asphalt Airborne 8 that are mostly common with Android TVs. We did however hook up this brand new PS5 console which really made this Q80T really stand out from the rest. In fact, we have played a vast amount of games over the whole week since after setting up this TV. And I've got to say guys that trust me, once you step up to this QLED Q80T TV from say having had a basic 4K TV, you will most likely certainly notice a massive difference. For example, there is not much, if any, motion lag at all. Again, with this Q80T being compatible with games that can produce 120 frames per second. Gameplay image rate was superb. And that was the same switching between high fidelity modes and even playing games in 60 or 30 frames per second. The 4K really pops. Again, being connected via that 2.1 HDMI cable. If you are simply into gaming, it makes sense to think about the next few years when buying a TV, with regards to, well, those up and coming games with higher frame rates, etc. I think that this Q80T is pretty impressive. I mean, it has 3900 PQI, HDR1500, HDR10, with an upscaling quantum processor. Now, as mentioned, yes, you do get a vast amount of apps that are pre-installed and more that can be simply downloaded. One of the standout things about this Samsung TV is the sound from them 60 watt speakers. They do provide really impressive 3D audio with object tracking. Obviously, you can add a soundbar if need be, but I must admit that this TV is real bassy enough to immerse you while in gameplay or watching movies with the family. With a very slight grumble being that when you're at low volume, well that bass at night can be a bit disturbing to those neighbours. Well, especially if you've got thin walls like me. But hey, what a relief. I mean, you don't actually get that blowing noise that people have reported with the Q60T. But I'm pleased to say with this Q80T, the sound is real good. In addition, you do get that smart things app on your phone, so you simply can tap your phone on the side of the screen for various options. So yes, you can screen mirror your Android phone to this TV, or if you just want to simply play music, you can screen mirror just the sound on its own. But most fascinating thing for me, especially if you just need to nip to the toilet, is you can reverse mirror whatever you're watching on this Samsung TV to your phone, so you don't have to miss any of the program you're watching. Yeah, so watch a box set in the bath if you wish. You do get that added internet search, which works very well. Okay, it's not super fast, but you can indeed hook up a wireless or wired mouse and keyboard combination. I've got to be real honest, I can't actually find much to moan about when it comes to this Q80T TV. Oh, 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 no, except for, okay, it's got a bit of a rocky stand, you see? So that's basically it. It's a good priced mid-range TV, 120Hz panel with HDMI 2.1 connection, that 
truthfully supplies you with most of what you need. Especially in way of the next generation gameplay and watching movies with consistent internet access and the ability to hook up Bluetooth earphones or headphones to keep you locked into those late night box sets. But yeah guys, that's about it. I mean, we've reviewed the Q60T TV, which wasn't too bad. Now this, the Q80T. Fantastic TV, much, much better than the Q60T. And if I was to rate this TV out of my usual rating out of 10 today, then I've surely got to give this Samsung QLED TV a 9 out of 10. Now I certainly would advise looking at this TV if you've got that next generation console. I mean you can pick this TV up for around £800-£900 in the UK right now. It's a few uni codes hanging about so I'll have a little search of them. I will leave a link in the video description down below. You can go and check out all the specifications for yourself. I'm not affiliated in any way guys so you're free to do so. But if you do like what you see and you're after a real good TV, well, why not go get yours? While you're there in that video description, it means so much if you would click that like button. Please subscribe to this channel today, making sure, yes, you hit that bell notification option, otherwise you won't get the updates on our new uploads. But yeah, that's it. Hope to be doing some more reviews this week, so stay tuned for them. And as usual, guys, make sure you stay safe, and thanks very much for watching. Peace!